to give Silvestre Varela a chance at the header, Cristiano Ronaldo puts more than 600 RPM of side spin on the ball. This creates a pressure differential around the ball, known as the Magnus effect, which causes it to bend more than seven feet toward his teammate. When Ronaldo sends the ball in, Varela is still outside the box, and three U.S. defenders are actually closer to the eventual intersection point. So to get to the ball, the Portuguese midfielder cranks it up to just over 20 miles per hour, putting him about a yard behind the U.S. defense when the ball arrives. Because the ball averages nearly 50 miles per hour, this header wouldn't have happened if any part of the play was delayed by just two hundredths of a second. A save by goalie Tim Howard on that header would have been nearly impossible because the ball reached him in just three tenths of a second. To put that in perspective, that's about the same amount of time a batter would have to react to a 120 mile per hour fastball. For ESPN Sports Science, I'm John Brinkus. Hey!